Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics. In this DCS AH64D video, we'll discuss the link site select that allows the TAS to be slaved to fire control radars next to shoot target, also called the FCR NTS target, or slave the FCR center line to the TAS line of sight location. In linking the TAS to an FCR NTS, it's a valuable tool to visually identify the target and determine its state prior to an engagement or perform a battle damage assessment or BDA after an engagement. Let's get started. Okay, so first, let's take a look at Link from the front seat as a CPG. We can see we have the aircraft armed and we have radar hellfires actioned up. I'm gonna zoom into the left display and bring up the uh, SCR page. And we can see the SCR is not powered, so we're going to utility. We're gonna unpin the mast mounted assembly or MMA and let's go ahead and override the SCR bit. And back to the SCR page. So at the bottom, we can see our site is currently the HMD. I need to switch that now to the FCR. And we'll do that by going left on the site select switch here on the right hand grip, which is also down here on the collective. So left on the site select switch. And now you can see it's FCR and also brought the TADS up on the TDAC. Uh, level is pretty bright for me. I'm going to bring that down. Okay, on the SCR, let's go ahead and do a continuous scamper and see what's ahead of us. So it looks like a bunch of wheeled vehicles, track vehicles, and two air defense vehicles. And we have both our next to shoot, our NTS, and our alternate next to shoot, our ANTS. Uh, on those two air defense vehicles. And like we talked about in the previous video, let's go ahead and bring up the C-scope and we can see this up on the TDAC as well. Now, like we talked about at this top, for using Link, we're gonna be able to slay the TAS directly to the next to shoot target. Uh, super handy. And to do that, we're gonna go down on the site select switch here on the right hand grip and also on the collective. Let's take a look at that in controls. Easiest way to do that, go to search, type in what you're looking for, in this case, link, and it pops right up. So right hand grip, site select switch to my joystick. Now, before we actually hit it, it's really important to remember that link will not work if either the TADS or the SCR are your acquisition source. In this case, I have it set to fixed. Also, for the night vision system with the NVS, you cannot be using the TADS. It would have to be using uh, the PINVIS. So let's go ahead and go down. And you can see the TADS automatically snapped to the next to shoot target or the NTS, which based on the symbol, a triangle should be an air defense vehicle. Let's zoom in all the way. And sure enough, it's an SA-15. Let's go ahead and engage him automatically cycle to the next target in priority, which you just see at the top there, another SA-15. But let's cycle that to another target by placing the cursor over NTS, press and release the display cursor, and it went to this uh, tank. And let's go ahead and engage him. Now, because the FCR is our site, there's very little we can actually do with the TAS other than look through it and adjust the field of view. What we could do is we could deslave the TADS from the SCR and use the TADS as a BDA. And to do that, we're simply going to hit the slave button here on the right hand grip to deslave the two. If we go to the controls, go to search, type in what we're looking for. And there it is, right hand grip, site slave button, which I assigned to my throttle. So I hit that button, and now I can use the TAS independently. But because the SCR is still a site, I don't have any of the laser functions, the image auto track, or you know any ability to engage, say, with a laser hellfire. To do that, I'm going to have to make my site the TADS. To do that, I'll go right on the site select switch. Now TADS, we can see here at the bottom, is my site. I'm 
and we're going to gauge him with a kilo. And we have one more missile on board. Let's find something else. Yeah, let's hit this BTR here. And this is super handy. So when you're gauging uh, with the radar, uh, before you really didn't have a clear uh, idea whether or not you actually destroyed the vehicle or not. Uh, this allows you to do real-time BDA uh, for you. Now, while we're on TADS, uh, something else we could do is let's uh, uh, zoom back out, move the field of view quite a bit over here. What we could do is if we were to hit the link switch now is going to slay the FCR antenna to where the TADS is looking. So if you look at the FCR page, notice at the top you're going to see the radar dome symbol slew off to the right. And that's exactly what it did. So that's how we use link from the front seat. Now let's take a look at it in the back seat as the pilot. Now, compared to the CPG seat, uh, using Link from the back seat is much more uh, simple, but a little bit more limited as well, uh, due to the lack of TADS control for the pilot. But we can see an example here. I'm using the FCR uh, to engage some targets ahead of me. Uh, again, a bunch of track vehicles, wheel vehicles, and some air defense vehicles. And I have the uh, NTS on an air defense vehicle ahead of me and a bit to the left. And using the video function, we can actually take a direct look at that vehicle and then do some BDA once we engage it. So I'll hit the video button. I'll go to TADS at the top right. TADS at the top again. And adjust my video settings just a little bit. So we see that the acquisition is actually defaulted to TADS. And like I said before, it cannot be TADS or FCR. So I'm going to go ahead and set that to the, uh, the GHS. Now, just like we did before, using the site select switch, in this case only on the collective, and we're going to go down on site select, and the TADs jump to that target. Go ahead and zoom in a bit, and let's engage him. Now you can see it automatically went to the next target. If I want to do some BDA, I'll go ahead and select that target I just engaged, indicated by the green X. Set that as my NTS again. And let's see if it got a hit or not. Okay, impact, let's see if it's burning. And yeah, so that's a good uh, positive hit. So that's probably the, the best function of using Link from the backseat. So folks, I hope you enjoy taking a look at this really super uh, helpful function, uh, Link, and I will see you next time. Thanks.